Which one do you think is going to happen? You're going to get punished for your behavior. And you get grounded because you've been bad. So how does this develop? Is that you start to be trained from very early ages that if you do something that parents approve and accept, then you receive love and affection. If you do something negative that they don't accept and approve, then you get punished. Is it making sense? You're with me? Yeah. Then same thing in school. If you get good grades, you, you are accepted, you're acknowledged or loved. And if you don't do well and you're a bad, bad student and you're running out in, on the breaks and you go behind the school and you're smoking a cigarette or, or you're fooling around and doing something like that, and then you come back and they catch you, you get punished for your behavior. Same thing in the society. When you enter into the army, if you obey and you do everything that your superiors are asking you, then you're being accepted and you're being, they congratulate you and they send you to war. And if you kill a lot of the enemy soldiers, you come back home and you're a hero and you get a medal and, you know, they, they send you to, you know, like these soldiers in Vietnam when they came back or they were from Vietnam, they would get, go to, to Thailand. Then it was okay. They could go to um, brothels or whatever and have prostitutes and do whatever they wanted to do. They earned it. It was okay. No problem. Or if you're in a war and you killed a lot of people and you come back home, we're going to praise you. You're a hero for killing a lot of enemy soldiers. So you're accepted, you're loved, you're, you're, you're in. But if you do the opposite, then you're a traitor, you refuse to, to fight, and, or you didn't accomplish anything, you're, you're just pushed away. So we get, this is another imprint, we get brainwashed from entrance into this world that upon our positive acts, positive deeds, we get love and acceptance from mommy and daddy, our school, our society, army, the government. So what do you learn in this transaction? from early age. What does this mean? You learn a form of prostitution. You train to prostitute yourself. You learn to manipulate by doing good and the right things that your parents want you to do. You're getting to the rewards. If you sell, you're selling yourself, so you're playing the game. You get to learn to play the game according to their wishes, and then they're going to give you things. They're going to buy you a toy. They're going to buy you a bicycle. If you're a good boy, if you're a good girl, and you get great all straight A's this year in school, I'm going to buy you a bicycle. Now you're going to sell yourself and do all these things. You're learning unconsciously that if you play this game, then you're going to get acceptance and love. Do you get it? Is it making any sense? Can you see it now? Does it give you a a little idea of how your your psyche you're getting this imprint already from the very beginning that you entered 
yeah, the first six months, one year, you can't talk, you can't relate. But they're, you know, oh, good boy, oh, he's so cute. You know, he's two years old. He listens to his mommy. He's such a good boy. He's quiet. Da, 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 da. And they keep, you know, mom and aunt talking to each other. You're there and you're hearing these things. So you're learning to play the game. So what happens? What's the danger in this? What's the implication of this kind of conditioning? That in your psyche, you begin to believe and you have absolutely no reason not to, to think this way. Because everybody else around you is doing the same thing. Everyone, everywhere, the media, the radio, internet, TV, everywhere, the movies, everything is supporting this. So you think this is how it is. But it's absolutely a lie. 100% a lie. And what is this lie? That you believe to think that love, acceptance is coming from the outside world. It's an object. You have to do something positive and right in order to get your parents' love and affection and acceptance. So love becomes an object. That's why you go through your life and you never find it because you're trying to find it outside of yourself. This is how your program is. You find love outside by acquiring things. So then what happens? They used to tell me, I remember my nanny was telling me, oh, Zarathustra, or my aunt or whatever, go, to, go be a good boy, do your homeworks, finish your school, and be a good athlete and take care of yourself. And then you go to college and you get a good degree and then you get a very good job and you're making a lot of money and then you're going to find the girl of your dreams and she's going to marry you and you'll be happy thereafter. Happy thereafter. <laughs> Did anybody find that? <laughs> Happy thereafter? <laughs> you're going to find her and you're going to marry her. You know, so you have to do all these accomplishments. Be a good boy. Go to school. Get good grades. Go to college. Get a good degree. Get a good job. These are all objects. You have to accomplish these. Get these objects in order to find the girl to be happy. So you're already also getting brainwashed to defer your happiness into future because you're not happy the way you are and you're not complete the way you are and you're not good enough the way you are. So you have to get good grades and you got to get a degree and you have to make money and then you get the girl and then you're happy so i have to keep getting these objects in order to be happy because i'm not happy i'm not good enough i'm not complete as i am 